Hi everybody! My name is Jessie and I do perfume reviews in ASMR format. So if you like perfume and also if you like ASMR, you are in a good place for our video today. Alright, so today I am reviewing this is called Loved by Lauren Conrad, so celebrity fragrance, I guess you would say. What, what? I don't even remember. What was, what is Lauren Conrad famous for? I think she was in a show or something, but I didn't really grow up watching any TV. We actually didn't have a TV, so. Um, but anyway, I did not know she had a fragrance line. I've seen that she has a clothing line, and I'm not sure if she has other fragrances, but there's this one. I'll show you the bottle. This is what the bottle looks like. I really do like the bottle. I'm a sucker for an opaque perfume bottle, you know, one that's painted um, white or really honestly any color, but I really like the white painted look. Um, it's also kind of nice because it, it protects the liquid inside from UV damage, so there's kind of that additional benefit. And then on the top, as you can see, there's this white flower. I'm guessing maybe that's supposed to look like a... I'm not sure. I was gonna say peony, but I don't think that this has peony rose. I'm not sure. Oh no, it looks like there is some peony in here. Um, so yeah, that's probably a peony. But yeah, really, I really like the look. Very clean, modern, but also a little bit, um, what am I trying to say? Like elegant, classic looking bottle. So I really like the bottle. And it makes nice taps as well. So today, as you can see, I'm just wearing white. I've got a just a white shirt on, white blouse, and then I've got like a little scrunchy, white scrunchy in my hair, and uh, these are kind of white, I guess. Mother of pearl earrings. I wasn't even realizing that this fragrance has a lot of like seems like it has quite a few pink flowers and there's pink flowers on the box but we're good because luckily I've got my pink nails and then also I did a little bit of a pink lip gloss because I just thought it I don't know thought it went with the vibe of the fragrance so we got white and pink today which is perfect so, this fragrance is actually not listed on Fragrantica.com So, instead, I just googled it and I'm on a website called Scentbeauty.com And it lists some of the notes. It also lists the notes here But I'm able, on Scentbeauty.com, I find more notes listed So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that because Yeah, seems like maybe this doesn't have all of them or Um, okay, so let's go ahead and spray this. I'm gonna take my tea out of the way so it does not get perfume in it. So I've got my Flower Fairy deck of cards because this is a very floral fragrance. Today, this is, ooh, Tulip. Tulip Fairy. I was kind of thinking it'd be silver because it's almost like a gray writing So I thought it would be silver to kind of match the writing All right, I'm gonna give this a spray And let it dry down Okay, but 
already am getting a burst of floral scents. So, hmm. so it's very fresh floral, quintessential springtime perfume, I would say. Very delicate, feminine. Mostly floral is what I'm getting. Mostly floral. I do detect, um, there is a white tea note, and I think that's what I'm picking up that's giving it just a touch of something a little more, I don't know how to say, like herbal, herbal or aromatic, but in a very subtle way. Yeah, I think I'm definitely picking up the white tea. Okay, so let me just go over the notes, um, since I'm talking about notes. Okay, so as listed on scentbeauty.com, we have notes of sparkling grapefruit, white tea, peony, magnolia, pink rose, tuberose, gardenia, lily, jasmine sambac, and sheer musks. So a bunch of mostly pink and uh, white florals. And then we've got musks, white tea, and grapefruit. So it's mostly florals. So like I said, super floral. If you don't like floral fragrances, just don't even bother smell like trying this. It's very floral. I, if, yeah, I, it makes sense that there's grapefruit in here, but it doesn't stand out to me. I get a little bit of the white tea, and then I don't know what I get most. Maybe like magnolia and peony, and I guess maybe a touch of musk, but it's not like a super mm, like powdery, fluffy, muted sort of smell. Like it is definitely crisp and fresh. So it's honestly mostly just a bunch of really pretty white and pink florals. Um, so yeah, if you like that kind of scent profile, this is a nice scent, I think, and it's pretty affordable. I found this at Ross, I think, for $20, so pretty affordable, and I'm selling it online. Somebody just bought it for $19, so I'm losing some money, especially because, uh... Yeah, I'm making less than $19, so that's kind of the issue with, like, trying perfumes. Like, whenever I resell them, I usually take a little bit of a hit, but it's still fun. So I don't have any reviews to read on this because, like I said, we're on, we're not on Fragrantica.com, but I'll read, um, let's see if I can find anything that she has to say about this fragrance. Mm, let's see. Or maybe... No, I don't see anything on the box. Okay, here's her website. Oh, this is her first perfume. Um, it looks like it was launched last year, so it's new. That's probably why it's not on Fragrantica.com. Okay, here's a picture of her holding it. She's really beautiful. I don't really know anything about Lauren Conrad. It looks like it retails for $59, but I'm sure that's like the highest price you could ever pay for it. It's probably, you can find it cheaper a lot of other places. Okay, so she says, loved was inspired by touch, one of the most important love languages and the familiar feeling of a warm embrace. Scent and memory are inexplicably intertwined for me, so this perfume is all about embodying elements of softness, intimacy, and femininity. I'm sure you're wondering what this perfume smells like, right? Well, if you know me and my perfume journey, then you would know that I love florals. Florals evoke the same femininity and softness I wanted loved to embody. So it has top nuts of sparkling grapefruit, white tea, peony petals, and magnolia. Da 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 with the other notes. <laughs> 
I said florals, didn't I? So yeah, a lot of florals and then the addition of the musk grapefruit and white tea. She says, when I wear this scent, it brings me back to um, the first few dates I had with my husband. To me, it's love in a bottle and I'm so happy that I finally get to share a perfume that reminds me of my favorite Mem of my favorite memories. I usually layer it on the I layer it on with the corresponding loved body lotion too. So the scent lasts all day. Yeah, so props to her for creating a fragrance that's like okay, I'm not gonna say it's unique because I definitely don't find it unique but it's unique for a celebrity fragrance because it's not, there's like no sweet accords like the florals obviously have a natural sweetness but there's no like usually celebrity fragrances i feel like are a little bit either fruity sweet or gourmand sweet something like kind of cotton candy caramel berries whipped cream sort of thing which don't get me wrong i love those and other people do too which is obviously i think why they sell so well and that's why a lot of celebrity fragrances have more of that, but I like this for the fact that it's a little bit more just elegant and floral and possibly you could say mature for that reason. Like I could, to me, a, a young girl, even teenager could totally wear this, but you might not necessarily expect that as much. But yeah, very innocent, pretty, delicate, feminine springtime floral scent so and I really love the bottle like I said so that is my review of Loved by Lauren Conrad and I'm not going to be keeping this scent myself it is nice but I've got like literally 100 perfumes so I'm not going to be keeping it but it is really pretty and I honestly do really like florals I know a lot of people don't love florals but I'm not one of those so I mean, I'm just like, how can you go wrong with nature, you know? It's a very... Flowers are just nature's most seductive, beautiful things ever. So, who wouldn't want to smell like flowers? Okay, everybody, so that is my review. Sending you all peace, love, harmony, and beauty. And I'll catch you again soon. Okay, bye.